let's get ready to welcome our first guest who is a part of my heart she is a beautiful intelligent and talented and one of the sweetest people you will meet i have the privilege of calling her my daughter suzanne was such a tomboy in her growing years but today she's such a gentle soul but still has a mind of her own i called her my flower child today when i see what she has achieved in the field of interior design i feel so proud of suzanne suzanne is a great mother her little boys rehan and ridan are not spoiled at all even though they receive ample love from both their parents suzanne makes sure they lack for nothing and yet she teaches them to be kind and well mannered with everyone hi, hi mom how are you Stally? how are you so good nice. to see you oh come come how is it going down. what's so, happening oh it's going great so tell me now what's, what's up Huh? What's up? What's up with you? I hardly. Uh, I these know. Days are too I know. Busy. I've been. I've been so busy the, uh, with the kids and uh, uh, you know uh, work. Uh huh. So during the week, I get it gets so hectic, you know. And uh, but yeah, they're doing very well. They're. Uh, How's my little Ridan? Too good. Too uh, good. He's he's uh, he's come third in his class. Uh huh. So he's he's uh -huh. done very well. Uh -huh. Oh, last night Ridan was looking for. Um, Muslim communities pictures huh. because he had to, to do a project for school so he huh. said that you know mama i want a picture of the biryani of nani's house <laughs> because i need to show it you, you know, know my daughter suzanne yeah. she is uh, one of the most gentle and soft girls i always call her my flower child because she uh, always likes gentle. to do something very different when she was studying in the states guess what uh, pet she had She, you had a snake. I had a, a snake it's called. A snake. It was the it was uh. the breed which was the Californian King, uh. <laughs> and it was it's it's a it's a white snake with black uh, stripes, and and we used to call it Oreo. Oreo. <laughs> it didn't have the poison huh. bag, so but it was still not very have, big. Wasn't it creepy? So it wasn't creepy. It used to come around the neck. <laughs> And What? we had a glass. Uh, I think it's as big as this table. Huh. There was a glass kind of cage, cage, which you which didn't have the top. Like it was a mesh top. Huh. So the, it was then that <laughs> this heating warm uh, huh. a lamp. I think you just generally <laughs> like all animals, no? Yeah. Uh, very kind. I like I well, like um, uh, uh, creepy animals because mm. I feel sad for them. I feel mm. nobody likes them, so I should like them. A lot of people yeah. say that Suzanne resembles me. I don't know. <laughs> well, she's a very pretty girl, and she. And, uh, but I do. I maybe do. some some time in my life, I, I think will, we did look. I think I think that <laughs> I look exactly like you, but I have maybe Papa's like jawline. Jawline. Yes. Maybe yes. that's the mix. Yeah. 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 But, but uh, talking, Suzanne. Let's go and eat. You, yeah, you Come got on. to help me cook. I'm dying. Cook. To, what are we cooking? Tell Something me. Something what you like. Huh? Shall I keep huh? that a secret okay, till we chalo, go to the chalo. kitchen? Okay, chalo, chalo. Let's go. I'm dying Come to on. go. Come on. Let's, let's go. go. Get up. We are going to be tackling a kali biri mutton gravy today, and I'm going to make it very easy for you. <laughs> So Sue, so I'm going to make you your kali favorite kali mili. <laughs> love, kara love, love. So Too excited. Here goes. Too excited. First, we have to heat the oil. You can help me as I do it. <laughs> okay, done. Elaichi. And just about three, four of the lavangs, and about two sticks of this. Okay, so the, we take the onion and we start cutting it. We need about three onions here, you know. So there goes. Now we take all these onions because it's hot. Oh, put it, put all of it. Lovely. So now yeah, we bunoy. stir this, bunoy it mm. properly. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Come Fine. go. Now, after this becomes light brown, mm -hmm. for the, the meat, meat to be put in. So we take the meat, 
This is washed meat and we add all of this meat into this and keep mixing it with the onions. And along with this, as usual, we have to add the garlic and the ginger. Two teaspoons of garlic and about two teaspoons. My God, it's smelling so good. Ginger paste. Now mix all of that together properly. And of course the salt. Now we put that one small potato which we are putting in here to brown together so that the gravy becomes thicker. Bit more, it's yeah. cut very small. We put this in so it gets mashed at the end and the gravy thickens. The beauty of this dish is the first time you must keep on browning it correctly, very nicely, yeah. so that all the masalas merge in with each other. So we are going to put three cupfuls of water because it's got to cook in the steam, you know. Now actually this preparation without any chilies or the black pepper is ideal for children. In fact, when you were kids, we used to eat a lot of every it. day. This was your staple food. <laughs> like like a, this is called, yeah. you know, the Parsi like papeta magos. Ah, That's the okay. Parsi words for it. Ah. And you have this with just salt, and this is it. You have it cooked, and then you have it with the rice. Yeah. And children just love it. Now this is the time because we need the potatoes to also cook. These are going to be mashed up because by the end of it all, and we put it. These will be eatable. This will be eatable. Yes. Okay. okay. So we put these in. We put a lot of the black pepper because it is kali miri, you know. So just sprinkle all the black wow. pepper. Yes. Get it. That flavor of the black pepper. Oh wow! Close it and let it cook in its own steam on high flame. This recipe also tastes great even when eaten with bread, buns, rotis or even rice. You just like to lap it up. <laughs> and my daughter... It's she, a big a living example of it. <laughs> it's her favourite dish. Yeah. It's Suzanne's favourite dish. God, look at it bubbling. It's looking Okay, fat. now, now we okay. have to open this. One okay. minute, be careful because yeah. the steam comes. Wow. I'll leave this here. And then I put in the coriander. Then we put Pudina. the mint leaves, the pudida leaves. And the green chilies. You can make it as spicy as you want. We shall put about six, okay? Yeah. It's like a thick broth, a soup of meat. It's like a meat broth but and it's like got the flavour of the green chilli and the pepper. Pepper. So it's deliciously light but you've got that little zing in the in, in the spice. So I'm going to put a little bit of the pepper. Oh my god. <laughs> my mouth is really hot. Suze! Oh, <laughs> now The smell is crazy. Now we are going to open mm -hmm. this and put the Mm. Lemon juice in it. So here it goes. Ooh. Wow. Now we can add a little bit of kali miri for the last shot, bit, shot. you know? That's it. One second. That's it, that's it. Okay, now can I try it? Not right away, just it close it. How long? One minute and we'll have to, I'll take it out of that little dish. Bit. I, just want to I try promise it. you I'll give it. If you come this side, I'll give it to you. I've taken over your kitchen, Mama, yeah. sorry. Okay, now. I get my dish ready and we switch off the stove. So here goes. Do it. Okay. It's so light. I think that's the best thing about it. It doesn't appear to ever feel heavy. Yes. Because the gravy is almost like a soup, you know. So that itself is such a great. Wow. And now, a sprinkling of coriander before we serve it. Okay, Suze, this is your favorite Kali Miri Rasa. Just smell it. Oh my God, too good, too really? good, too good. It's smelling like yum. 
So that's what Kalimiri mutton looks like. And if you've missed anything, here's the recap. For Kalimiri mutton gravy, in a pan, heat 3 to 4 tablespoon oil, add 4 to 5 green cardamoms, 3 to 4 cloves, 2 cinnamon sticks, 3 chopped onions, and saute it till the onions turn soft. Add 500 grams mutton pieces, 2 teaspoon ginger paste, 2 teaspoon garlic paste, salt to taste and mix well. Now, add 1 finely chopped potato, 3 cups of water, cover with the lid and cook it till the potatoes get mashed. Once the gravy becomes thick, add 2 diced potatoes, 2 teaspoon crushed black pepper and cook for 45 to 50 minutes till the meat gets tender with the lid on. Sprinkle freshly chopped coriander, 8 to 10 mint leaves, 5 to 6 whole green chilies, 2 teaspoon crushed black pepper and cook it on low flame for 30 minutes. Add 2 to 3 tablespoon lemon juice, 1 teaspoon crushed black pepper and cook it for 2 minutes and serve hot. Garnish the dish with finely chopped coriander and your Kalimiri mutton gravy is ready to be served. Our second guest is a friend to my son Zayed and so like a brother to Suzanne. So to meet him, stay with us.